Hello, my name is Will Wright. I, I run a blog called willwright.me, which provides incisive essays at the crossroads of cinema, style, and social justice. Now, in, in the last week or so, that, that there has been a, an interesting uh, thing that, that, that it has come in the wake of the leak of the Sony Pictures emails. Uh, Amy Pascal, the chief of Sony Pictures, apparently said or wrote in what in an email that she would like Idris Elba to take the baton or mantle from Daniel Craig once Mr. Craig's contract is over. And uh, the it's interesting uh, because the the loudest and shrillest among uh, conservative commentators uh, is not happy about that. Um, but, you know, uh, th there is no brown-skinned James Bond or Jason Bourne yet. Uh, while John Shaft is, is great, uh, you know, John Shaft from the, the Shaft movies of, well, 40 years ago, that was 40 years ago. And I uh, depending on, on what standard you have for, for quality film or cinema, <laughs> uh, I've, I've ignored the, the updated shaft by John Singleton. Uh, now, th there was an interesting uh, quotation from uh, Juno Diaz, the Pulitzer Prize winning Dominican-American author, when, when it comes to uh, the, the connection between cultural identity and media power. Uh, the, the most, I guess, abbreviated version of it is that uh, if you want to make a human being into a monster, deny them, at the cultural level, any reflection of themselves. Uh, again, th there is a, a longer, more fulsome, and uh, more memorable version of this, but uh, it, raises the, it raises the fantastic question. I mean, why do brown-skinned heroes make white people panic or nervous? Uh, do, do whites have a reason to be nervous uh, about their relations with people of color? Now, if, if white people, uh, and I hate to refer to anyone by their color, uh, are put off by seeing a black man with a gun on screen uh, with a woman on his arm, then Let's split the difference. Then why not split the difference? Uh, I'm sure that I'm sure the UK has plenty of very talented mixed race uh, actors, just as as the US does. So why not make the next James Bond more contemporary and more brown, uh, but not too brown, and and let him be mixed race. I mean, really, right? children of color and people of color in general need and deserve to see themselves on screen as heroes. So that's my piece. Again, I, if, if you enjoy seeing incisive essays, particularly those at the crossroads of cinema, style, and social justice, then go to willwrite.me. And thank you for your time.